What labels should be used when moves referencing playbook specific features are taken as a move from another playbook? A few playbook moves reference labels connected to playbook specific features, for example the protégé's venting frustration, allowing the character to roll the label their mentor denies to directly engage a threat while angry. When taken as a take a move from another playbook advance for a character who doesn't have the playbook feature in question, how would you decide which label a character should use? This is well into the realms of GM discretion and will often come down to the details of the specific character and move in question, but I'd like to know about people's strategies and methods for making this sort of decision. Hash hashtag you can't take moves from another playbook if they don't make sense. A lot of moves refer to things specific to their playbook, legacy moves talking about members of the legacy, Janus moves talking about their secret identity, heck, even outsider moves talking about their homeworld, though that's more a backstory than an extra. Getting a move from another playbook means that you're acquiring those abilities in the fiction, not just on your character sheet, and nothing happens unless it makes sense in the fiction. So, for any of those dependent moves, the GM and players are going to need to work on making them make sense in the fiction. If you already have a protege, or a legacy, or a Janus, well, it's not unheard of for a mentor or a legacy or a secret identity to draw another hero into it. Secretly or unknowingly being from space isn't outside the realm of comic book possibility, either. But ultimately if the GM can't find a way for a move to make sense for a character to take from another playbook, they can't take it. 